breakpoints are a powerful weapon on the modern web. They give you the power to display different content for various screen sizes. But when you want the change to be made for all screen sizes, you'll need to be sure to make the edit before the default breakpoint. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to change the images within a template so that the new image applies to all breakpoints. Quick tip before we dive into this tutorial. By clicking on the toggle breakpoints icon in the top toolbar, choose default mode to edit the breakpoints individually. When starting your project, the first thing you need to be aware of is the workflow direction associated with your design. You can look at the breakpoint bar and see which direction they are pointing. If the breakpoints are pointed to the left, then your workflow will be desktop down. This means you will need to build for the largest screen size first and with the slider to the right of the largest breakpoint. If the breakpoints are pointed to the right, that means the site uses a mobile first workflow and you will need to move the slider to the left of the smallest breakpoint. Your changes will be made for small screens first and then will apply to everything higher. You'll notice the breakpoint bar will light up in color to indicate the screen sizes your design choices will be applied to. So if you intend to make a global edit and your breakpoint bar isn't fully highlighted, then you'll need to readjust your slider's position. In our example, the design workflow is desktop down. The largest breakpoint is 1280 pixels, so the slider will need to be positioned higher than that to the right of that breakpoint. Now any style or layout changes that are made on the canvas will apply to all lower screen sizes. With the slider in the proper position, the default images can now be replaced with new content. The main image is applied as a background to the container element. First, select the container element on the canvas and go to the Styles pane, Design, background section. The image may be removed by clicking on the red X symbol. If you simply want to change the resource, click on the pencil icon to open the resource dialog so you may select a new graphic. Once you have chosen the new graphic, use the slider to test it out. As you make the canvas smaller, you'll see the image has been replaced at all screen sizes. Breakpoints allow you to display different content at different screen sizes. For example, if you wanted to show a cropped version of your image for smaller screens, or maybe just use a more lightweight file option to save that mobile bandwidth, you would simply move your slider to the breakpoint you desire and swap out the image source for your new option. When you move your slider, you'll be able to see your image sources change depending on the screen size, or breakpoint. Now let's demonstrate how to use this with a mobile first workflow. Using a bootstrap framework option, the workflow you would be working with is a small to large or mobile first. The first breakpoint would be at the 578 spot. So the slider would need to be positioned to the left of it so that our default styles would apply to all higher up breakpoints. This default mode works with any styles you apply. So this time, instead of changing out an image, let's try changing out the heading font type. Go to the Styles pane, Design, Typography section, and choose a different font type. Then use your slider to see how it applies to all higher screen sizes. Rinse and repeat for all your style and layout choices for your project.